Hello, friends, and happy Sunday. Hopefully, things are going better in your household than mine. Um, all we did was ask the kids to clean up their rooms. I didn't think that should be such an issue, but we got met with some attitude from one child in particular. So there's been a little stomping around. So if you hear something in the background that sounds like stomping, that would be my my kid. So anyway, um, I have had a productive afternoon. I got some stuff done um, for our chaos coordinators. We're doing a fun crossover event this week. Um, so if you're not in our community, you want to be there because there's going to be a ton of fun. So if you're just watching this um, on Facebook or on YouTube and you're not in our community group on Facebook, then um, you can go to theblendamama.com and at the top, there's going to be join the chaos coordinator community. Just click that. It's going to take you straight to Facebook um, and you can come hang out with us. Hello, friend. Um, like I said, we are going to be doing a fun meal planning crossover event all week long. So we're going to do some meal planning tips, but also some cooking tips. Um, and if you guys um, have followed me for very long, you know that I'm not necessarily the best cook. So um, I'm excited to be doing this particular event. Um, I do want to show you, so I got in our um, latest Create Organized Plan Kit, and I was not planning to use this for my craft today because I just I did after how things have been this afternoon, I decided to decompress a little bit with some paper crafting. Um, so um, I wasn't planning to, to necessarily do anything with this particular one, but I pulled everything out and I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. So I do want to tell you about the... Um, create organized plan kit for this month. It does have, so if you have followed with us before, if you get the kit and the special insert, um, then you get the, the die cut that goes with everything, or sorry, not the die cut, the vinyl sticker that kind of goes with the theme. You get that for free. So um, this month's insert is the Sorry, I have like a gnat right here in front of me. I'm not just swatting at nothing. Um, at this month's um, insert is the to do now, to do later, although it really looks more just like a to-do list. But um, it says um, get things done in flamazing style. I got it in the large, so it's in my personal planner. So I am going to try just having a running to-do list. So I have already started making my list here, but um, just so you can see what the pages are, it says balancing my list on the left and then my flamazing list on the right page. So um, that is the special insert for this month. It's just a refresh um, that goes with the particular theme for the month. Um, you can get the same insert without the extra flamingo stuff if you want. So there is still the to do now, to do later and the regular to do list. Um, if you don't want all the flamingo stuff on it, those inserts absolutely still exist and you can grab those, but you could also get um, the special one that goes with um, the Create Organized Plan Kit. So if you get the Create Organized Plan Kit, it comes with a bunch of stuff. So you get two full eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. They are double-sided. So um, super fun, lots of flamingos in case you can't figure that out. Um, it also has your coaster to keep your craft area safe while you are crafting. A full sheet of fun stickers, again, in that flamingo style. Um, and it, I just, I think they're always fun. So um, this one has the extra ones, say, um, standing tall and balancing life. So those are always fun. All right, so that's the sticker sheet. Um, we have a journal card that says life is about balance. And then we have three die cuts. Hey, Alicia. So we have three die cuts that go with it as well. And then the three wooden buttons. So there's only one of these is a flamingo. The others are just like some cool tropical leaves. Um, and then there is... Um, so the craft for this one is a bookmark. So you get a pre-cut um, bookmark sheet, which you could use the um, fun papers to decorate that. And then um, you have a flamingo charm, flamingo charm, and then some flamingo washi tape. That is not focusing very well. 
Um, sorry, that is not working very well. I'll try to pull that out for you. And then some fun sticky notes. It says stand tall and be flamazing. So those are cute. So I love the sticky notes. So they are the shaped ones. Um, some of the ones we've had in the past were sneakers, um, gnomes. I don't remember. They were super cute. Um, and then um, this is the vinyl sticker that you get for free if you get the Create Organized Plan Kit that I just showed you plus the insert that I showed you first, then you get this for free. And then there is an additional fun craft, um, which is the bookmark. So I think I'm going to create this um, while we're here. So I'm just going to put all of this back in the bags. So some of this stuff comes in here, and then the rest of it comes just in a clear um, cellophane, just like our deco kits. Um, so I'm just going to put all this, blah, blah, slide that back in, put that in there. And I do have um, some snacks, and maybe, maybe this is a challenging question for y'all. Are you Team Twizzler or Team Red Vine? I'm Team Red Vine. That might be a surprise. I used to be Team Twizzler until I had Red Vines, and now I'm Team Red Vine. Um, so let me uh, get this on here. All right. All right, so I am going to pull out the stuff to make the little bookmark. And I'm going to hopefully remember... Actually, I'm going to look at how I did the other one. So we did this with the anchor one. And, okay, so, so we're going to tie a knot and then the bead and then that and tie a knot. And then this goes out the other end. Okay. Yo, I know that I, I'm just not crafty friends, so you only like the cherry Twizzlers. Is that the, that's probably the original, right? I don't like the flavored ones. I am with you on that. I don't want extra funky flavors. Um, I only like the originals and definitely not the black licorice. Whoever created licorice. Yeah, that stuff's nasty. Um, although I hear, I have a friend who likes, um, the uh some kind of licorice ice cream at some event that she goes to like that's disgusting Alrighty, so so we have a knot and then we have the bead and the sparkly thing and now i'm gonna do another knot here on the top that is my goal i want it right there so it doesn't really slide very much. All right, so we have that. And then we're just gonna come down to the other end. And let's see how long we will need this one to be. Um, I think I'm gonna make this one for my, for this planner. This is a previous charm. This was from the um, girly stuff kit. All right, so the idea is that you can um, just push this underneath. And so then this now um, can come and go down into your, into your planner here. So that's the idea. So I don't want it to be like extra long. So I think maybe about right there. So I'm just gonna tie one knot. And one more. Huh? And then grab my scissors and just snip. And now I have a bookmark so I can, you know, put it wherever I need to. Um, and then I can find a page easily because it's hanging out the bottom. So now I can go straight to it. Does that make sense? 
So um, yeah, and it will stay because it's it's underneath the um, band here on the outside. So I am going to actually snip off this little bit of extra here as well. Voila. Okay, so that is done. Um, I am going to go ahead and make some cards. I'm not going to do it with the flamingo stuff. I do have um, this old school. This is an older... Um, older card kit. Uh, it is not currently available on the website, but I do have one left in my stash. So if you're like, Ooh, I really like this one. You can go to the blendedmama.com slash stash S T A S H. And you can claim the, my last one. So this was one of the very first card kits. And I can tell because it's in, um, this Brown box, which the current ones do not come in. They come in a clear, um, box with ends and part of it I think probably had to do with some of these were just a pain to get out so I'm just pulling the envelopes out okay moving all that to the side and flip this over so we have some cardstock that is already pre-cut here so we have three of these which go with this so we'll do one of these one of those one of those so we'll do that. And they, again, they're already pre-cut. So, you know, you can line them up even. You can make them match all together. You could do it like that. So lots of ways you can do it. And then we have nine um, double-sided sheets, but they are two prints. Two, one, two, might just be the two. I feel like I'm missing a page. Maybe this one was only eight cards. I know the current ones make nine. Four, five, no, it makes nine. How am I missing a sheet? I swear, people. And it is really hot in my office. Um, this humidity is killing me. Oh, so there's six of these and then seven, eight, nine. That's how it goes. Okay. All right. It's just a little different than um, most of them. Most of them have nine sheets. All right. So we also have some of these long card stocks that are already pre-printed or pre-cut. And then we have the bedazzling jewels, which are always fun. Let's see what else we got in here. All right. So we have three buttons. These are big buttons too. Most of the newer ones are a bit smaller than that. And then we have um, die cuts. So we have one, two, three, four, six die cuts, and then the three buttons. And then we have some smaller um, cardstock, and then we also have some twine. I will probably, I'm just going to be honest, I probably will not use the twine. It's just not my thing, um, but it is there. And then we have um, these fun stickers. So we have Life is Sweet. I love you very much. I miss you very much. You are very sweet. Thank you very much. Wishing you the very best. Um, and then these are um, these stickers. So there's nine of these stickers that are for envelope seals, although I always just put them on the inside of the card and then some additional extra fun stickers. So we are going to, oh, how do we want to do this? Let's just put, a, we're just going to go for it. Um, so the cards are already pre-folded, which is fabulous. Um, so all we have to do is um, glue stuff on where we want it. And so for these, I definitely am going to go with putting it um, kind of this direction. How do I want to do it? I'm going to probably make them. So I'm just going to grab my craft tape and go ahead and put the tape on the paper and line it up. So we're going to try to do it even. All right, so we're going to do that, and then um, I think it's going to look better doing it this way, don't y'all? I don't know. Or do I want to do this? 
I don't like that. So we're going to do this. So some of this is just trial and error and there is no right or wrong. There is just crafting. So have fun with it. Don't stress too much. Um, and just make whatever you want. All right. So we're going to do that. And then, um, let's see. I think I'm going to do the parfait in the middle. So we're going to do this right there. And I'm going to do wishing you the very best. But I'm just going to put it um, across the top here. And I think I'm going to just leave it like that. All right. So I'm going to, I like to keep mine simple, y'all. I don't, I don't like to get all frilly and complicated. I, I'm just not very good at that. So um, you're not going to see me making like the most ornate cards ever. But what you will see me doing is having fun and enjoying it and de-stressing a little bit. So we're going to do this. And hmm, I don't think any of them fit on this. So like this doesn't even make sense. Um, all right, so we are going to do Life is Sweet on here. I hope you can't see. So we're going to do Life is Sweet on the white. And then it is like hot in my office, friends. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this right across the card here. And then we're going to put this on top. Like a belt. Okay. And then I want a little bit of bling. So we're going to add that here. And here. There we go. Alrighty. Alright, so on this one, I'm going to do a little bit of that and I think I'm actually going to just do this one side oh. helps if you don't get the sticky stuff on your desk I don't recommend doing what I just did um, so we're gonna just lay this here And then we're going to do thank you very much right over here on the side. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I think that's cute. All right. So you don't have to use all the things. So the tape I'm using is from Ad Tech. It's Tape Blue Runner. You can get this at your local craft store. I personally am not particular to a single brand. Uh, I definitely just get whatever. I can't even guarantee that the tape that's in here is ad tech because I definitely refill it because uh, that's kind of cool. You can just open it up, pull this piece out, and pop in a new one. Um, so when it runs out, you just add in another one, um, and that is easy peasy. Um, but yeah, so I like these because you're, there's no liquid glue. Um, you're not making a huge mess, but um, if you do get it on your desk, it, it can be a little bit messy. Uh, just because now things are sticking to my desk. Alright. But it will eventually rub off. Like this is an old one. It's not even sticky anymore. Alrighty. So I think I'm going to do this a little bit lower. Maybe. I don't know. If I think about it too long, then I won't do anything. So I just have to kind of go with it because again, I, I'm an overthinker. If you're an overthinker, say me too in the comments, friends, I know I'm not alone and, um, that's okay. All right. Um, I'm going to do life is sweet. up 
here. I wonder if I have... I'm going to look at our stencils. So we did stencils. So that's a lemon. None of those are going to quite work. I'm just trying to see if there's like something I can draw down here on the bottom. I can do just like a little wave or something. Maybe I'll just do, maybe I'll just do that. If I have a color that will work anyway, which I can't guarantee. Uh, overthinking is my, my hobby. That's too funny. Well, I'm glad to hear I'm not alone, although I hate that anybody else um, also struggles with that because it's just not fun. All right, so I'm just going to add this. So I used one of our stencils, and I'm just going to color this in down here. Okay, maybe I'm not going to do that while we're on video because that's going to take me forever. But that's what I'm going to do with it. I'll show you the finished one. Um at the end or after I do it, I'll, I'll post it in our in chaos coordinator community. Cause that's going to definitely take me too long to color it in. Um, alrighty. I was not thinking, see, that was me not thinking enough friends. All right. We're going to do this other strawberry side. So I, um, I am, I have like a crazy, 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 crazy week, um, coming up, um, this week I've got training for my day job for the majority, ah, oh, crikey, friends, oh no, already, well, all right, so that's not going to work on this card. We're going to just set that aside. And um, let me see. Let me see if I have some other stickers. All right, so whenever I'm doing these, I always have extra stuff. So that's what I'm looking through to see if I have some extra um, stickers I could put on there. I have like a happy birthday. Um, let's see, Holly, that's Christmas, that's not, I can do hugs and kisses, that must have been from a Valentine's one, love and joy, uh, jolly, nope, 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 no, no, uh, nope, all right, so we have happy birthday, Let it snow is not going to work for this one, I don't think. What do y'all think? Um, <laughs> it, I wish, I kind of wish it would snow right now. It is um, crazy hot here. I also just have some thank yous. These are from our, um, uh, what line was that? The um, sentiment collection. So I have lots of those. So I'll probably just put a thank you on there. We'll do that. All righty. Uh, let's just do thankful and grateful. I like that. Um, so yeah, so I have training this week for my day job from 5.30 to 9.30. Nope, sorry, y'all. See, look, I'm already brain did from 9 30 to 5 30 um but you know that means i'm still going to be up for my normal seven o'clock start time so i'm really going to be working like 12 hour days or 10 hour days whatever it is i can't do math today either don't worry i am an engineer but i don't do engineering so yeah um i think i'm actually going to just switch over to the the thank yous because I think I like them better. Maybe I'll put these on the, I oh know I can't do thank you on the outside and those on the inside. That would not work. 
Thank you. I love you very much. I don't think that quite works. Um, yeah, goodness. I need to think a little more apparently at the moment. Um, all right, so we're going to do that. And then I like the chocolate one, but what I am going to do is add a little pop up on it. So you can also find these at your craft store. It's just like a little foam sticker and you just pop it onto the back and then I'm going to pull off the tape there, the paper that's covering the top here. So pull these off and it's going to just add some dimension to the card. So I don't know if you can see, but now there's just a little bit of height. So looking at the card, it has just a little bit more dimension. So, um, and you can see, I actually put the sticker on like the back of random cardstock that was printed on. So, I mean, listen, I'm all about repurposing, um, trying to find ways to save money and that sort of thing. Alrighty. Um, I like this, so I'm going to do this one. I like the more, um, not like the bright shades, like that more muted. And I love this color. Yeah, so the pop-up dots are great. Um, I do prefer, there was one I got that was just, they were square instead of the round ones. And I felt like you got more for your money just because there wasn't like all this wasted space in between. Um, so I would recommend looking for those if you can. Um, just because, again, I don't like to waste things. So... Um, I felt like I was getting more for my money with the squares, but I think somebody gave me the round ones. Um, so, so I didn't spend any money on that particular one, but all right, so I'm going to just do this. So I, I do like adding like that red there and then putting the sentiment on a white in the middle. So I do kind of like that effect. Ta-da! You cut it all apart. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I like it. Definitely like it. All right, we're going to use the other side. Yeah, I've only used about half of the sheet, so I definitely have a way to go. Um, but yeah, that's a great idea to make sure that I'm getting the most for it. I hadn't thought that far yet. So thank you for that tip. All righty. And then, oh, I still have another one. Woohoo! Um, listen, it's a simple thing some days. Like I said, it was just a little bit of a rough afternoon. The kids had camp all week last week, so I know that some of it is just fatigue. I know they're tired, but goodness, I didn't really need to be fussed at or, you know, whatever, because we asked them to clean the room. It's just not, not how I needed to start my afternoon. All right, so we've got that. And we have one more. And I, don't know, I might use, I think I'm going to use this one. And use this sheet of paper. And then I'll save that for something else. So I do make cards out of like all the scrap pieces too. I have a whole bin where I keep like extra like extra full pages of deco paper um, as well as oh I can do this All right, I can do this now that I um, there we go. Um, yeah so I have like a full box of paper um, that is just deco paper let me um, get back over here so I have where is it? Oh, it's up my bin over here. Um, so I have one that is like full sheets um, of deco paper that maybe came out of a kit and I didn't use the whole kit. So I have some like that. And then I also have the scrap pages where I've used portions of, but not the full thing. Um, let's see, what do I usually do with the buttons? I'm going to be honest, I don't usually use the buttons, but you can add the craft glue and stick them on. I've but if you do that, just keep in mind that you will probably need to put something when you mail it, put another piece of cardstock because 
the um, machines don't like these. So I tend to just not use them. Um, I am making a craft. Hold on. Hopefully nobody is watching that I'm going to see in a month. Um, you, I am doing a different craft with them. Um, and so I am sewing them onto some ribbon and I'm making something with that. So I'm not going to show you the whole craft because I know people are, are coming, but I am trying to use the buttons for a different craft because I don't like I, with the wood buttons. I don't know what to do with these. I just don't like to put them on the cards, but I, they look pretty when other people do them. I just personally don't care for it whenever I've done it. I don't know. I'm just such a weirdo. Again, I'm sure I'm overthinking it, right? But you can like, you can just put the craft tape on the back. So same way. Um, I do try to put a little bit more or you could use the, um, the dot and then, um, let me see if I can find one to put it on. Um, oh, we'll do it on, we'll do it on this one. Um, so you could just stick it on the card. So it will stay. Um, so you can do that again. I do not. So you'll find that my bin here of all the extras has a bunch of buttons although again the newer ones are smaller so just for a size comparison so most of the new kits have the smaller button and then they also have the cute little bows which I do use and again you just put the craft glue on the back or one of the little pop dots and just stick it on so um, I have I use the um, the bows more than the buttons because I just struggle just struggle with the buttons. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I, but I, I have like a little collection of the wooden buttons. Um, so I'm, I'm again, ow, I'm trying to use them on some crafts because I want to use them. I like them. I just don't like them on the cards. I don't know. I'm just a weirdo. So, um, so I'm not sure that that really answered your question. Um, but that is what I personally do with them. Um, or do not do with them as the case may be. And then like I have all these die cuts left, so I will stick those in here. Like I have, I have a bunch. Um, and what I do with those is I create, let me see if I have any. I don't have any handy, um, but some hot glue and a paper clip and I make a paper clip um, with the um, die cuts. And so that's just a fun little craft as well. So, um, again, I, I, I don't throw away any of the stuff I don't use. Um, I just might not use them for the intended purpose in the card kit, but you can absolutely use everything on the cards and make them look beautiful. I just personally, um, don't typically use the buttons. Um, so anyway, so that was, that was my fun craft for today. Thank you guys for hanging with me for bearing with me um if you have some more ideas for me feel free to message them to me um because i i'm a simplistic crafter if it is not simple i probably won't do it um but i'm more likely to do it if i have seen someone else do it or somebody's walking me through it i'm definitely more likely to try some new things so i am excited we have our conference coming up um next month let me see do i get to color in check my calendar here. Do I get to color in my, oh, oh my goodness, I do. I get to color in my one month. So in one month, I will be going to conference um, with, let's see what color do I want to use. Um, let's do this light pink. Um, so I have conference coming up. It is in Troy, Ohio. That is where Tula 12 um, corporate offices are. And so I will be going for a leader retreat um, first. And then we have a day and a half of the conference for 
the brand ambassador field. And I'm really excited because three of the gals on my team are coming. And so I get to see them. Two of them I have not met in person. Um, one of them I have, and she is just a blast. Um, so I'm really excited to see them and just get to hang out with each other and get to know each other better. Because while we, you know, obviously we talk online, but there's just something to be said about building relationships in person. And I think just those, you know, a few days in person does so much um, for building your relationship throughout the year, because now you just have something a little more tangible to remember. Um, so that's my personal opinion. Um, but I love conference and I'm super, super excited. So it is now one month um, until I get to see um see my friends and give them hugs. Um, yeah, that's exciting. Okay. All right, friends. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I have really appreciated y'all just letting me decompress a little bit. I am going to actually sit down and make my plan for the week because it is crazy. Like I said, I've got training all week on some software that frankly I don't want, but it's okay. Um, so I, I am kind of excited about the training itself, though, because I'm always excited to learn new things. I just don't necessarily think the software is going to do what um, some other people do. So I'm excited to see. Maybe I will be proven wrong. It has been known to happen from time to time. I'm not always right. Don't tell my husband that. Um, <laughs> but um, anyway, so, yeah, I'm it's going to be a busy week, but um, we're going to have lots of fun in our chaos coordinator community um, talking about meal planning all month long, but we have a special crossover event this week. So um, hang in there with me. It's not going to be super crazy. I promise you're not going to be like bombarded all day, every day. Um, so you're just expect the normal, but there is something special coming on Friday. So um, do expect there to be a little more activity on Friday in the chaos coordinator community. Um, but otherwise it's going to just be kind of normal, but with some special guests. So um, I hope you guys will come hang out with me and I will see you guys later. Y'all have a fantastic week.